Okay guys, uh, we've got a 1UZ computer attached to a, a partial loom up to my engine. I've got an old uh, crank angle sensor distributor here that I can use as a crank. It's got the same signals. One igniter, spark plug attached to my throttle body. Let's see if uh, we can do some testing. Right, I've, I've powered up the circuit here. Now at present, I've only powered up the injectors and coils. The ECU itself is not powered. Test light's going to the, the negative on this one. And we're going to start by checking some injectors. Uh, find the injector wires. Now this is a, a 20 series sequential injection. Eight spark, eight, eight injectors. And I'll just uh, tap in the back of them. And you'll see the test light coming on and off. Uh, you can also hear, well I can hear, the injectors going clickety click. As I tap in there, these injectors are getting a bit sticky. So I went through earlier and gave them a bit of a tap with a screwdriver, just gently on these, and it put them back, most of them back to life. So that checks that the injectors have got power, and the circuit is complete back to the computer, and the injectors are functioning. Right, next we're going to check some spark. So we sort of complete the same job, but this time we go to the, the positive side. Uh, we're just going to fire the, the igniter. It's going to fire spark. If you're running on your engine, just take your coil lead off your distributor. Pop your spark plug in, just tape it in. And we go tap in here. That gives us a good clean spark, which I can see. You guys aren't going to see it, but we just tap in there. Next we're going to fire up the, the computer, so I'm going to go back to the negative side with my test light. And this one, I'm keeping the circuits pretty simple. Uh, when we test it, we should have uh, battery positive first. So I'm just going to put the, the battery positive in. And there we should have BATT. Oh. We should have battery positive. Uh, next, IGN. So we're going to. We have IGN, and that will generate an output 12 volts on the MREL terminal. I'm not going to run a main relay on this one, it's just for testing purposes. So I'm just going to pop in BA. Oh, plus B, being 20 series, it's only got the one, just got to be careful not to uh, short things out here, okay, right, with that done, we better plug the computer back in, main computer's all plugged back in, now really, really important that uh, the earths are in the circuit, they run to big uh, white blacks there. There's a couple of browns. So it's really important that they are in. Uh, I've still not got the TPS anything 